Are we about to see a big WrestleMania debut? What's going on with Zelina Vega and Carmella? And did Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey just lose the main event spot for night one of WrestleMania? We'll get into all these stories and more, starting off with this big news about a potential major WrestleMania debut. This debut being from an individual we've been mentioning over the last few days, and that's Gable Steveson. After a gold Olympic medal and two NCAA wrestling championships, Gable has officially announced his retirement from the NCAA wrestling scene. After winning his second title, Gable left his shoes in the middle of the mat and will go down in history as one of the most dominant wrestlers the NCAA has ever seen. But what's next for Gable following his retirement? Well, the answer is no secret at all. Everyone knows he signed to WWE and was even drafted to Raw during the most recent draft. So technically speaking, Gable is an active member of the Raw roster at this given moment. The reason why Gable is now being rumored for a WrestleMania week debut is because of a supposed deleted tweet from the man himself. Fans were able to screenshot the tweet from Gable before it was deleted, which said, Also, I will be at WrestleMania. It's time. It wasn't long before that tweet was deleted, so fans were just assuming that maybe Gable jumped ahead and WWE had him take that tweet down to protect this potential surprise debut at WrestleMania. Everyone knows that Gable is not coming up through the traditional way of going through NXT. He's coming to the main roster as a part of Raw that's already been confirmed. The only thing that's not confirmed, of course, is his usage. How will he debut and when? Well, if Gable was telling the truth in that deleted tweet, maybe he's one of the WrestleMania surprises, or maybe they save his debut for the Raw after WrestleMania as well. This Raw after WrestleMania will be the first one with fans since 2019, so that fact itself really has fans excited about the show. The Raw after WrestleMania has this mystique to it of this being a must-watch show that has all these debuts, returns, and surprises. So the sudden arrival of Gable Stevenson is something that falls into that category for the Raw after WrestleMania. But of course, telling by the man's words himself, he's going to be at WrestleMania. So if that's the case, what is he doing there? Well, the rumor for a long time now has been that WWE will treat Gable like a Brock Lesnar sort of superstar. He's going to be treated like an absolute brutal force and powerhouse. So taking all those rumors into consideration, does Gable make an instant statement by putting hands on Roman Reigns or Brock Lesnar? Maybe Gable doesn't get into the WWE title picture right away, but hypothetically speaking, if Brock Lesnar loses, what if Gable makes a name for himself right away with an attack and challenge to Brock Lesnar after WrestleMania? It's really interesting. Gable's deleted tweet about being at WrestleMania definitely has a lot of fans guessing and speculating now, so we'll see what comes out of that. But be on the lookout for Gable's arrival in WWE now that he's retired from the NCAA. Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair storylines have been hard-hitting and had even closed out some episodes of SmackDown over the last few weeks. And up until a few days ago, everyone was under the impression that Charlotte and Ronda's WrestleMania title match will main event night one. Everyone figured that the night two main event format would be similar to what we saw at WrestleMania 37, where both Royal Rumble winners both got main event spots. So in this year's case, that would be Ronda Rousey and Brock Lesnar who get the main event spots. There was even a hashtag movement from some fans who wanted to see Bianca and Becky in that night one main event spot. But eventually, everyone just sort of accepted that it would be Ronda and Charlotte. Until most recently, where a new rumor has completely flipped everything upside down on what fans thought night one would look like. A Reddit user by the name of Kermit125 is starting to gain a reputation of being pretty reliable. This user correctly predicted the Ronda Rousey return, the title versus title match, and announced that Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins was actually happening. So they have a pretty nice list of big things that they were correctly announcing. 
Well, they're back at it again with some more insights to the two nights of WrestleMania. They announced that Becky Lynch vs. Bianca Belair will open up night one of WrestleMania 38. Also, that Cody Rhodes vs. Seth Rollins would take place on night two. But the biggest shock of them all, they claim that Kevin Owens and Stone Cold Steve Austin will close out night one of WrestleMania in the main event spot. Things could get a bit confusing here because obviously, Austin and Owens aren't really expected to be a match per se. So if Charlotte and Ronda is the last actual match of the night, then technically, you could say that they still main evented night one. But as far as the actual closeout moment of the show, it's now being rumored to be that KO show with Stone Cold Steve Austin. So it's really interesting if that turns out to be true, but there's still a lot of time for plans to be changed. So it looks like no one will truly know for sure until we get close to the event itself. In other news, something could be brewing up for the women's tag team division. The current champions of Zelina Vega and Carmella will have their hands full at WrestleMania with their biggest challengers to date. The newly reunited Sasha Banks and Naomi, as well as Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. Now, everyone expects to see some new championships to be crowned in this match. Sasha and Naomi definitely being the most popular fan choice. So, what does that mean for Zelina Vega and Carmella? Well, if you've been paying close attention, it looks like some seeds are being planted for the breakup of this tag team. Carmella has been out of it sometimes on Raw and will just go over to be with Corey Graves on commentary while leaving Zelina in harm's way. That has been the story on Raw lately. It looks like they're also bringing Carmella and Corey's real-life relationship onto WWE television as well. Corey and Carmella obviously have that new WWE reality series, so maybe it's a way of promoting that series as well. Or maybe when the official split with Zelina happens, maybe Carmella and Corey's story continues to go somewhere new. But the latest split teaser here came from Zelina's Twitter. WWE posted Zelina and Carmella's pictures side by side, but something was different in both of their pictures. In Zelina's picture, she's holding up her tag team title and giving it all the shine and attention, while in Carmella's picture, she doesn't have the tag team title with her at all, which Zelina seemed a little offended by and took to Twitter to say, quote, These two pictures are the only ones that matter. However, I am noticing something missing in your picture, Carmella. End quote. And in mostly all the pictures that Zelina and Carmella take together, that seems to be the story and theme. Zelina is the proud champion, and Carmella is paying attention to something completely unrelated. And if they do lose the tag team titles at WrestleMania, Carmella may not care that much, but Zelina, being the proud champion that she is, will definitely have a big problem with Carmella and losing the titles. So, if that breakup does happen, maybe Carmella stays as the heel and Zelina Vega takes the babyface turn, especially with Corey Graves being a heel announcer. It makes sense for Carmella to remain as a heel and give Zelina the turn instead. So, we'll see how that unfolds as well, most likely at WrestleMania. But what are your thoughts on all of today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.